Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Hello, hola, bonjour, hey, hey y'all, Flora Vida. My name is Merck. Welcome back to the Narc Alert. Well, it's Monday and it's early. What the heck am I doing today? Well, you know what I'm doing is Amberlynn Reed uploaded yesterday. So I thought, why not do a quick little reaction and see what Amberlynn is up to today? She gives us little gems lately, but they're spaced so far apart. So I couldn't be remiss in missing this one. Entitled, Amberlynn Reed is the Queen of Girl World. Uh, let's see what she has to say today. All right, Miss Reed, the floor is all yours. Amazon moment. So I have been loving like mesh lately, like wearing it underneath like a dress or a shirt that no. is like spaghetti strap oh no uh, do people even call them that anymore I yes just think it's such a cute look okay yeah nobody's changed the name of spaghetti strap why uh second of all spaghetti straps are a bad look for you amber the way you're built they don't do you any favors you need a wider strap it would be more flattering for you and then you wouldn't have to buy tacky hoary looking mesh undershirts i don't know what this is so I i'm scared Amazon to search like is there any uh, that I like and I found a few but I was like I don't know if it's gonna fit me so fair enough this little bag came all right so how I want probably freak since out. I wear it underneath stuff I only want it to go to like about right here and why? I want it to be super tight because I don't want it to be like why is Amber want to wear skin tight mesh shirts showing under boob Amber just no girl you know just because you can doesn't mean you should like a loose mesh. Um, look how she just said she wants it skin tight but loose. Okay. Is it gonna fit? Oh no. That is the real question. Oh my god, it is adorable. So this is in a 4X. So there's no front or back. I think you just. Always a good sign when there's no front or back on a garment. You know, it's exceptionally well crafted. Also, this pattern reminds me of like some Rugrats game box from the 80s or something. Seriously. Becky would love this shirt. Bex would love this shirt. Throw it on. So let's see if it fits me how I want it to. How would you know Ooh. you're trying it on over your clothes? So far, so good. It actually fits exactly how I wanted. It is a little wow. longer than I wanted as you can see here it's really so oddly made because it's one of those human sized things it has no shape it has no design to it so it was hard to tell it was a quick shot but under here under the armpits it's kind of gapy like it's it's loose here just in the armpit but because the sleeves are not super tight on her it's way too tight in the boob she wanted it to be short and it's long she says it fits perfectly but she's trying it on on top of clothing when she bought it to go under clothing it's just wrong on so many levels, Amber. Be like right here, but I'm totally fine with that. Of course. I feel like this will be so cute underneath something. And I feel like the sleeves are longer than I was expecting them to be, which is perfect. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of like vibing with this look. Interesting too, though. She used to wear t-shirts under spaghetti strapped things. Now she needs mesh. She's really trying to show her boobs off all the time, right? So I guess she figures if she wears some sexy mesh... Ooh, under her spaghetti straps and gets on TikTok. Oh, hi. The mind reels. Wow. <laughs> okay, she fits, girly. Does it? So that means I'm going to go back to where I got this on Amazon. And buy every and single color more. and size. There was ones with like polka dots. Uh, there was one that was like a white mesh. And I was like, I need that. <laughs> no, this you don't. So freaking cute. It's I honestly just, not. Like, can't even stand it. No, okay, I can't so I'm either. I'm actually about to straighten my hair. So this is before my hair straight. It's super just poofy and frizzy, and I just we don't agree. 
And my hair used to never be like this. It started after my hysterectomy. Yeah, we know. My hair You tell us every day. Texture, so every day. I hate it, but whatever. Um, so here's before. Okay, so she is now straight. She's a little flat, but you know, that's okay. I was thinking no. about maybe putting some You need to cut a foot of hair off, Amber, please. Amber. I know you don't watch, but imagine if she cut her hair to about here. Like even to like nipple length. It would be so bouncy. It would feel sexy and bouncy and healthy. But no, you're going to run that hot iron over that thin, unfortunate hair. And I'm not judging. I have thin, shitty, unfortunate, damaged hair. But I own it, and it'll get better. She, she's just not doing herself any favors with her spaghetti straps and her stringy hair. Like, you got to tighten everything up, Amber. <laughs> waves in my hair but honestly when I use my crimper it takes a lifetime and I'm not really in the mood for that but if it didn't take what else are you doing today Amber the lifetime that's how my hair would look right now but I'm just feeling like no that's just too much y'all I have had this dang crown for oh good lord here we go ever and I haven't known like really what to do with it. It made an appearance in a video. Okay, first I gotta say, a few years ago, the whole "you're a queen, you're a king, the king of this, the queen of that" was really big on Inst on the YouTube, you know, social media, I guess. Personally, I always hated it. You know, in the beginning, I, a couple of people would say queen, and I'm like, oh, it just makes me cringe. I just don't, no, don't. I'm nobody's queen. Um. But Amber embraces that. She loves that. That's part of her identity. And I find it interesting. She says, I just haven't figured out what to do with this crown. What do you do with a crown, bitch? If you're royalty, you wear it for special occasions. If you're not, it's a prop. It's a costume. That's what you do with it. You play with it. It's not real. Forever ago, it was like literally just a second. But I just filmed a TikTok with it. Nicki oh, Minaj the pork moment. chop dance. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with the Doja Cat song. It's the pork chop dance. We gotta make a song for that. The pork chop dance. Oh, I'm seeing a video in my head. Called Agora Hills. And I cannot stop listening to it. I'm gonna take this off now. Oh, please. Um, I'm obsessed with this though. <laughs> like, I got this off of Amazon. Like, literally. Did you hear where she got it from? She said this before. Take a listen. Where Amber went to get this crown. Listen carefully. Hills, and I cannot stop listening to it. I'm going to take this off now. Um, I'm obsessed with this, though. <laughs> listen. I got this off of the Amazon. Like, the Amazon. <laughs> Amber? 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 You're never going to see the Amazon. You're not going to see Bora Bora. You're never going to see the Amazon. You went to Amazon online and bought that. You didn't go to the Amazon. You know, there's a movie we've watched in, in Discord called the, I think, The Apprenticeship, where two older guys go to Google and they compete to become apprentices to work at Google. And there's a scene where one of them's talking about t inventing an app where you take pictures on your phone and then you put them out on the line. And the guy says, online. Yeah, so you take the photo and you upload it on the line for all of your friends to see. You, you mean online? Yeah, that's what I said, on the line. So that's what that reminds me of Amber going to the Amazon to buy a crown. Okay, Amber, you're the queen of the Amazon warriors, I guess. Literally, I want to say like a year and a half ago, it was actually, it was during the time where everyone just like kept saying like, oh my God, Beauty Beauty stealing your crown. And then- Pet peeve. That that username has two words in it. One of them is foodie, a word you're, you're familiar with, foodie. The second word is beauty. Another word you're familiar with because you- refer to yourself like that all the time. So together those words are foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Foodie beauty. Not feudy booty. You know, Chantel, feudy beauty. You can't even say one of her names correctly. It's ridiculous. And people would come to me and be like, oh my God, you're stealing 
Chantal's crown. Chantal. And it was just, like, a lot of, like, back and forth Foodie. in that way. So Beauty. I was like, oh, my God, I think it would be funny to, like, get a crown. I don't know. I never really did anything with it, but... There was... Well, there's nothing you do with a crown. It's a prop. And second of all, I seriously, this is just speculation. She bought that last year when people were saying Chantal was stealing her crown. I know she's framing it as a joke, and it was a joke. But I seriously think her little narc ego did not like that somebody else was getting called queen. I really believe that. I mean, it was a joke, but was it? it? I was going to do a little trolling. You know, it's like, it's literally fine to troll for fun. Like, I firmly believe that. Like... I think trolling is funny. Like You don't troll, Amber. You clickbait. There's a difference. I would say you might have trolled when you did the I want to marry orange chicken video. Like saying, I'm getting married and then do a whole video about marrying orange chicken. Yeah, that would be considered a humorous troll, I guess. Saying um, something like, I don't know, what could I make up here? Saying something like lung cancer, question mark, and then making a video about going to a doctor's appointment. That's not trolling, Amber. That's clickbait and also lying, which is what you do more. You're not a troll. You don't know. You're not a very funny person. Some of the things that Trisha Paytas does are like Tana, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, and those two people you cited as examples have gotten into a great deal of trouble. For the crap they troll about. Like Trisha saying she's a... Okay, Trisha Paytas saying she's a chicken nugget, that's a troll. Trisha Paytas saying she's a gay man, or whatever that stuff she said, that's not a troll, it's not funny. It's just horrible, and that's the examples that you're citing. I am also known for being like a troll, but I just feel like... There's no, things you're known for being a liar. And a clickbaiter. People read your titles when they have those three things in them. And two of them are really outrageous. And you know what? Every We all say it in the Discord. Everybody says it all the time. You read the title and you go, eh, I guess that's some stupid Q&A she's going to answer. Which is what you do. Things all the time. You should not troll about? I don't know. I just... You only live once. Let your inner troll out. And just let your freak flag fly. You know what I'm saying? Hello, it is the next day. I don't know what's going on here. I'm a little red, so just ignore Guys, I don't know what's going on here. Right here. You see this area right here? It's a little red. I don't know what that is. Please ignore this. See this area? Ignore this. Don't look at this right here. Okay, Amber. Or that. So or maybe just don't mention it and nobody would ever have even noticed it. I don't even see anything red on your face. Why does she always do that? It's so weird. See this? Don't look at this. Don't look right here. Don't look at this. It looks terrible. Don't look. So last night I actually went to bingo with my mom. And instead of throwing away all the papers, right at the beginning, like everyone does, I kept them all. I wanted to show you how many we did. There were so many. But bingo is actually... Is this a point of pride now? That you go to bingo every week with your mom and your grandma and you do a lot of them. Okay. Again, narky thing. You don't have to save them to prove to us that you played a lot of bingo. Most people would just say, God, I played like 100 bingo cards. Good enough. No, Amber knows if she says that, everybody's going to accuse her of lying, and then so she's got to prove everything. You created this, Amber. Really cheap. It's $20 to sit there and play for hours. Anyways, I woke up. And it's funny because I talked about the crown situation with me and Chantel literally yesterday in this video. And I woke up to people saying like the only reason why I wore a crown in my TikTok was because of her. No, literally, if you listen to the lyrics, no, that was Minaj is saying, you know, the queen of rap. So I put on a crown like it had nothing to do with Chantel. Amber. You're not the queen of rap. You're not the queen of rap. You got to check out Merck's version of Ice MFT at karaoke some night. <laughs> I think people just want us to hate each other. And I'm sorry, I don't have hate in my heart for her. I, I don't have hate in my heart for anybody. I'm just not that girly. And if anything, Chantel needs to come to visit me so we can like live stream together. Like we would literally break the internet. Like God, you throw out a straight line that's hard to resist. 
of things that you'd break. I don't think it would be the internet, because neither of you, quite frankly, are that relevant anymore. Although you would probably get a lot of views. People would watch for a few minutes. But it would probably be boring because you're like a corn husk of a human being and you have no personality. And and she's got quite a big personality, so she'd probably steamroll over you. It, oh, it would be an interesting, it would be an interesting watch. I don't think you'd break the internet, but I bet you'd get a lot of people's attention. Now, that said, it's never going to happen. Chantal hates you. No, there's nobody wants to create this between you. Chantal has said quite openly she wants nothing to do with you. Do you remember supporting Natter? Do you remember Natter? You supported him. Remember that? Yeah. So she doesn't want to ever have anything to do with you. So you got to stop this because it's turning into like stalkerish behavior. Stop. Like, I would love that so much. She wouldn't. I don't know. Everyone just wants to like pin us together or is it pin us apart? It's nobody's pinning you. They're pitting you, Amber. And nobody's pitting you against each other. She doesn't like you. She doesn't want to talk to you. I don't think she talks about you that much. Not nearly as much as you talk about her. Stop it. Stop stalking people. When people tell you in no uncertain terms that they don't want anything to do with you, you leave them alone. Just leave them alone. There's billions of people in the world. You'll find someone else to annoy. Pin us against each other. What is the saying? Nobody's I don't pinning. Know. Either way. Pitting. No, you guys. There, there's no drama. There's no beef there. There's no beef. She moo, doesn't moo, like you. Anything. Moo, moo, moo. So I am actually about to go to my grandma's. Um, we're going to play oh. some Yahtzee. So cute. I'm going to use some Versace moment. A little Versace. For real, I just turned 60. Okay, you know how I celebrated it? Hiking through a jungle. Amber is half my age, and she's living the life of somebody that's 10 years older than me. Her social life consists of Yahtzee, bingo, church, and the casino. Guys. And uh, if she's a really good girl, her mummy will drive her through the gay neighborhood. Oh my god, that smells so good. This is the bright crystal one, and Nobody I'm like, running out, so I definitely need to get more of that. Nobody my cares. mirror needs to be cleaned, but this is my outfit for the day. Wow. I'm also wearing my ear. Her legs looked huge. She did not pan down very far, but her legs looked huge. Girl hasn't done a weigh-in for us in a long time. She's not talking about dieting. She's not watching what she's eating. You know, we don't care. Her, her weight is not what we criticize on this channel, but girl, you're going to kill yourself. You can't keep doing this. Earrings that say gay on them because, you know. Because you're a big gay. tacky woman. So I'm currently at the mall because I'm about to go to a Lego store for the first oh! time in my life. I'm pumped. Lego store. Lego store. Lego store. Yes, I'm so excited. All right. Hey, cool. guys. Okay, so I just got back. Literally Wait. That's all you're showing us? Your intro to the Lego store was longer than the Legos. Why wouldn't you show us the Lego store? You don't know. It's been 10 years and you still don't know how to vlog, Amber. We don't want to see a shot of the door of the store and then a shot of you at home talking about it. Show us the store! Oh, God. Literally, when I was at my grandma's house, we were going to play a whole page of Yahtzee but we could not stop talking for four hours straight. Like we talked about everything under the sun. It was a moment. I don't know. It was just a really good time. Yeah. Amber, cause sometimes when real people get together and they spend, you know, a few hours together, they, they actually talk to each other about real things. Sometimes real people who aren't narcs get deep about things and emotions and topics, and they don't have to always gravy coat their time with games and puzzles and distractions. They can just literally just be together. That's how you build a relationship with people, by connecting with them. I know it's a strange practice and you don't do it, but, you know, that's what that's what was happening there. But I want to show you what I got from the Lego store. The cashier at the Lego store, he was gay. And I was like, me too. Honestly. No, you didn't. You didn't do See, Please tell me she didn't really do that. <laughs> I live in like one of the gayest cities in the world. There's like, I mean, let's face it. Gays are just like normal people and there are homosexual human beings everywhere. Uh, my city's really, really gay, positive, very, you know, huge, 
huge population here. Big, huge gay neighborhood. So much fun. Um, if Amber Lynn, can you imagine, <laughs> you know, my bestie, Uncle Daddy Tim is gay. Married for like 30 years almost now. Um, <laughs> if this five foot two, 600 pound woman toddled up to him and held out her tacky lampshade sized rainbow colored earring that said gay and went, <laughs> look, me too. Tim would probably punch her or walk away. You're just like, what the fuck? What's wrong with you? What are you doing that to people? The gays are everywhere, Amber. You'll find them everywhere. You don't have to high five each other. You're not like a Jeep owner. Honestly, you guys. You're going to go leave a duck on the guy? Like, just stop. Where I live is the biggest, largest, like, gay scene I have ever seen. And I have lived in a lot of places. Yes, I have. I grew up. Yeah, but you don't go out. You see, there's gay scenes in probably most progressive cities in North America. I'm generalizing. I just said my city is ridiculously gay, so gay, so, so wonderfully gay here. Um, you just lived in Lexington. I did a little research. Lexington has a very thriving LGBTQ plus scene. You, you never saw it because you only went to Target. And I don't know, maybe on Pride Day in Target, they might have had a small section. But generally speaking, you didn't go into the gay community in Lexington. I looked it up. There's restaurants and Airbnbs and hotels. There's clubs. There's a scene. Lexington is the first, I think, might be the only city in Kentucky that, that celebrates pride and puts banners up. There was a scene in Lexington. You didn't see it because you didn't leave the house. Now, Oklahoma, population-wise, is twice as big as Lexington. So their gay scene might be twice as big. In California, I spent majority actually of my life in California. I'm a West Coast girly and I miss it there. One day I will be back, but right now I'm enjoying my time in Oklahoma. But the gay scene here is amazing. Um, my mom actually took me by. It's like this whole community, just like. So Amberlyn Reed's mom on the way to church drove her through the gay village or whatever it's called. I, I say, don't get insulted. In Toronto, we refer to the neighborhood as the gay village. Um, so they drove her through the village so she could, oh, look at there's stores with rainbow flags on them. Oh, look at there's lesbians holding hands on the street. Ooh, so many gay things. Yeah, Amber, it's, it's the gay hood, man. Street and blocks full of just LGBTQ businesses. Yeah. And on top of that is like. Businesses that you will never support. A neighborhood that you will never go to because you don't support your own people. I support the LGBTQ plus community one whole hell of a lot more than you do, Amber. You won't support that neighborhood. You can't get there unless your mommy drives you. The gay bar scene. It's honestly just amazing because like whenever I go somewhere, there's going to be a gay person. And it's just like, I was in Kentucky for like, wherever she goes, she runs into a gay person. It's almost like gay people are just like, regular people like seven years so definitely not Idiot. used to that and it just feels so welcoming i feel like at home i mean i'm an out lesbian and it just feels how do you feel at home in the gay community in oklahoma when you're sitting in the passenger seat of your mummy's car driving through it make that make sense amber it feels so comfy like i love it it feels like such a good vibe i'm, I'm just here for it anyways there's so, a vibe in lexington too first time at the Lego Okay, that's yes. a big bag. It was it was so fun. That's a multiple hundred dollar bag of Legos. Vibing for sure. I got the Pac-Man Lego. I've been wanting it. So that's about three hundred bucks. It's three. I think it's three fifty Canadian. So you know. Oh, I she's uploading once a week right now. She can't have a lot of spare money to be spending on hundreds and hundreds of dollars of Lego right now. This apartment must be really cheap. Got it. And then I also got two Lego pens. They write the color they are. So this one's going to be like this dark wow. pink and then black. They're gel pens and you can Lego them together. Oh my God. I'm such a nerd. And then I got some Legos for free. I said, okay, ma'am. Okay. This is the winter market, which is so cute. And then this one is the Magisto's Magical Workshop. So okay. I'm definitely going to do these two first. 
Um, probably this one and then this one. And then the Pac Man. I haven't done like a Lego in forever, it feels like. So that's so much fun. Okay, you guys. So I just. She has nothing to do. She has less to do than she did before because at least before she had fled to talk to. Well, fleeing at that point. Um, but all, literally all she does now is hang around with her mom. As someone who has to hang around with her mom a lot, I don't recommend that. I know she gets along better. She likes her mom. It's different. Um, but that's all she does now. She hangs around with her mom and her grandma. She goes to bingo. She goes to casino. She goes to church and she goes to Yahtzee. Now she got herself a Lego to fill in the time. So like it's important mm. that, that I really verify certain things, topics, questions, rumors. Obviously there's things I can't talk about, won't talk about, don't want to talk about, but things like this, I'm going to. So there's another rumor that I'm in love with someone else and I've been in love three times since my last relationship. It's not a rumor. This is stuff that you put out on the line <laughs> and then um, you vague book everything and you let people come up with theories and conspiracies. Um, honestly, I, you probably do it on purpose to, to try and keep yourself relevant. If you're not, you should be because it's kind of a way to try and keep yourself relevant. Um, you said in a in a in a post somewhere that you were in love with the girl at church. Now, like I said, I know she didn't really mean she was in love with that girl, but you keep throwing a you throw that term around all the time. You're in love. 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 And then you vague book, so we, we don't know who the hell you're talking about. So you create that. Just no, to clarify, when I say I'm in love with two people, I'm talking about my ex, Feline, and I'm talking about the person as I'm talking about. How are you in love with business call? It still doesn't make any sense jump. to I us. I have only been in love with one person after my last relationship. That's it. There's just like rumors going around that I'm like, I've been in love like three times. Like, no. Also, how about this? She's trying so hard to prove to business call that she loves her. And yet she's posting on TikTok or Instagram or the hell she's posting about how perfect this singer was at the church and how she loves her and she'd worship her and all that. How do you think that's going over with your girls that you're trying to get back with? Such no. So I just have to clarify. That's not a thing. Won't be a thing. And yeah, but I'm totally fine clarifying certain topics. I might start doing that more often because I've been letting rumors float around. And the more you let them float, and you know, honestly, you haven't. There's not been that many rumors about you lately because you're really, really boring and you don't do anything. Nobody's really talking about you much. You wish there was... Re Maybe she'll revert back to the old days because I feel like she's starting to clue in that she's losing relevancy. more you don't, be like, actually, no, that's not true. Actually, wait, let me clarify. The more I do that, the bigger it gets. So I just want to squash it now. Okay, you guys, I am obsessed with TikTok. Oh, you know what? I don't care. We're not going to watch. She does this to pad her time. She talks about, okay, let's see, 916. So she shows TikToks for a minute, one minute of this video. Now here she's going to tell us how proud she is that her video is over 10 minutes long, which it wouldn't be if she didn't scroll through every TikTok she's done in the last two weeks. Thank you so much. On September 7th, I uploaded a video where I was like, I'm gonna start making all my vlogs, 10 minutes, because people were saying they were super short. And I have successfully made every single vlog over 10 minutes. This one's 10 minutes and 24 seconds. Everyone has been 10 minutes and a few seconds. So she's, you know, if you've got a lot of content and you're just cutting and editing and cutting and editing, you don't even notice how long the video is and you go, oh damn, it's 16, okay. But when you're struggling, it's hard to fill in time. So that's what all these random shots of the cat are for 30 seconds or what did we just see here oh she's this is not the first time she's reviewed her tiktoks for us she's padding her content to try and hit 10 minutes and now i think officially i'm gonna start making them all over 12 minutes oh so I really this little goal for me um i'm successful in my last one so let's clock this is not a goal amber this is stupid make a real goal lose weight I have a goal to make sure I have at least six seconds over ten minutes for my video for my job. Stupid. I'm gonna Stupid. be successful in this one. But I am gonna end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Well, there you have it, another infuriating vlog. Although I will say, let's give her some props. Um
She kept it moving this time. She had different segments. She talked about different things. She did a couple things. This felt more like a vlog than a pile of nonsense, like watching her put dryer sheets into the dryer. So, you know, for I know our bar is set very low. Let's remember the bar is set really low for this Amberlynn Reed channel, but considering the low bar, that was better than most of her vlogs. Um, she's still ridiculous. She's still ridiculous. And Amberlynn, please go and support your community because you pay it a lot of lip service, but you don't do anything. Just try, girl. Just try. <laughs> well, happy early Monday, and thank you all for joining me and Mr. Man who's sleeping over there and has been very quiet and didn't want to see you today. I'm sorry. Sometimes divas are like that. But he will see you next time. Look for some non-amber content this week. We're going to start doing more of that. And until we meet again, please be kind and hasta luego.